Hello friends, this is Raj Sathri from Raj Option Trading. Today is August 29, 2021. I want to cover small cap stocks, a quick weekly update. Let's look at stock news, trading ideas for next week, most active, best and worst performing stocks, and spot few good stocks to buy. So with that, from a news perspective, we got Select Coat Insurance Company. Uh, looks like they had the latest earnings and profit pressures and cautious outlook. So that's why stock dropped big time for one week. Uh, we will look at this company and see if it's a good time to buy now. And then we got here Canoe, Go EV, Romeo Power, VLDR, which is Velodyne, um, LiDAR. They're all surging and potentially they're undergoing some short squeezes. We'll look at these companies and see if it's good to buy them now. And we got here Nano Dimension, a 3D uh, printer play here. It's a solid uh, pick, uh, selling at a discount. So stock fell 66% uh, from all-time high. Uh, looks like it's getting some support here at 550. So we will see if we can buy some Nano Dimension here. And we got here Clean Energy. Uh, looks like this uh, stock is soaring right now. And stocks like BLGP. ENVX, even Clean Energy, they're all soaring. And we got oil stocks like uh, CLB, CDAO, Oxy, they're also going up. And we got here Zimmerman. Uh, looks like this stock, you know, it, it fell down pretty hard. Now it's going up. Could be a good time to buy now. And we got here um, Axum, AXSM. Looks like stock is up despite of FDA delay. This could be a good one to buy slowly and take it from there. And we got Metro Mile. Looks like it's integrating with the um, integrates with this platform here. You know, could be good to buy Metro Mile. Stock is at a depressed level at this point. And then we got here Bluebird Bio. This used to be a high flying stock. Looks like they had a, a Q2 loss and they missed the revenue. And we got your top um, marijuana stocks here, uh, CGC, Cron, Tilray, HYFM, GRWG, and IIPR. You know, I like many of these, especially uh, for stocks like you know um, CGC, uh, um, even GRWG, IIPR. All of them are good, including Tilray. And then we got here luxury fashion stocks like Revolve, uh, Tread Up, Poshmark, Farfetch, and Real Real. All are really down at this time. Uh, good to buy some of these stocks at this bargain price. So with that, let's jump in here, look at some chart, and see what we can make out here. Right from the top here, we got uh, B Big Winko. Uh, stock had a tremendous run. I think we had a very good uh, week with this stock here. Um, as you can see here, it's a, it has got a insider transactions 141%. That's why stock is going up. I mean, institutions are buying 141%. And as you scan through here, right now RSI is 74, a little bit higher uh, for my taste here. And as you see here, stock has a tremendous run. I would probably, you know, not buy right now. If you have some stock, you know, slowly think about unwinding a bit, at a, you know, a little bit at a time, so that way you, you take profit. And then you got here support.com, same story. Uh, we had tremendous short squeeze here, as you can see here. Um, same story here. I would probably take some profit here and um, not initiate any new buy. You know, take it slowly, uh, look for a small uh, pullback and then buy. Then we got here a ride, lost down motors, $6.48. Look here, we got institutions buying 39% and stock is already up a little bit. I think probably it's worth buying still slowly. RSI 52 tells you you can uh, buy slowly at these levels. And then we got some more here, um, starting from, uh, let's look at SQLT, select quote, $8.35. Um, insiders are selling, institutions are selling. As we scan through here, RSI is 20. And stock is trying to come back here in one day chart here. And as you see here, stock has been dropping off big time. I would probably buy some select quote here at these levels. 
and uh, you know take it from there right now as you can see here um, there is no positive here um, good good news is uh, you know stock has got a nice gross margin but otherwise stock has been dropping off big time and then we got here root uh, root is six dollar 48 cents stock looks like institutions are buying root here um, and as you can see here um, RSI is uh, 46 so I would probably look at root on the down days and accumulate and I forgot to mention go EV here go EV has got a you know very good institution uh, buying here probably we should look at uh, go EV RSI is uh, 50 but, you know you can still buy and also as you go back here we got uh, SANS here a lot of institution buying here stock has gone up so that's why i would probably wait a little bit for a pullback here and then you got uh, bngo five dollar 88 cents stock as you scan through here um institutions are buying bngo big time i would probably buy some bngo here um, rsi is 33 tells you still okay to buy and then we got your cdev um five dollars 18 cents stock uh, as you can see, the institutions are buying this stock here, and <clears throat> RSI is 54, tells you you can still buy slowly. And then you got Romeo here, electric vehicle play, $4.19 stock here. Institutions are buying big time, and as you see here, stock has been uh, dropping off uh, in one day. I would buy some Romeo at these levels, I think it's a compelling buy here. And then you got Nano Dimension, one of my favorite stocks, six dollars and seven cents here. Institutions are buying big time, nineteen percent, um, and stock is trying to bounce back slowly. So I would uh, buy some of these stocks. And if you are an options uh, person, you could pay close attention to IV percentile here. When IV percentile is high, like be big, big um, SPRT. Um, and SGOC, you could really sell some premiums and make some money. Think about selling maybe um, put option. You could even sell some strangles. Make sure you got some uh, cover at that higher level for the call option. You know, buy a higher price call option so that way you don't expose yourself. So that's what you do when um, you have a high IV percentile. You know, kick kicker is when you have high IV percentile and low volatility like ride as an example that will give you best uh, money for your uh, best bank for your buck so that's a winning combination here and you could also if you're an option buyer look for uh, low iv percentile for example here SEMS low iv percentile and as you see here we got bngo pbf and even cdev you know look for a low iv percentile if you're an option buyer and always uh, buy maybe Delta 70 or higher and make sure you got three or more months uh, to go. So with that, let's look at uh, one more chart here. <clears throat> we got here small cap monthly winners. You know, typically I don't chase any winners here because it's uh, not a good, good to chase winners. If I were to pick one, I'd probably look at FLGC with RSI 48, uh, pretty low here. Um, and probably I'll go with this one here. And you know, here also the same story. Look for institutions buying, for example, BYSI institutions. Institutions are buying a little bit. Even support, there is uh, some um, folks are buying support right now. And then you got GNOG. Look here, there are very good uh, insider um, institutions buying here. I would look at some of those names, you know, they got some legs. Uh, you could look at uh, daily volume. If the volume is up and stock is also going up, that's a good sign. You could buy some, some of the stock at those levels. And now we look at uh, monthly losers. I pay very close attention to monthly losers. You know, same story here. I've got, I, I have highlighted few of the stocks here. For example, AXSM here, uh, as you can see here, stock has dropped off big time. Um, now it's trying to recover. I would buy some AXSM here at these levels. Um, and it also has got, uh, let's see here, high short ratio that could cause some nice short squeeze. And then you got Select Coat, uh, GoCo, Metromile, 
even APPH, all are good compelling values here. And if you see here is GOCO here, Go Health, very, very good insider transaction, low dollar stock here. I would probably buy some GOCO at these levels and take it from there. And same story with Metro Mile. I think uh, institutions are buying Metro Mile. It's a good value here. Stock has uh, dropped pretty hard. And then you got here App Harvest. There is some good institution transactions here. I would, pro <clears throat> I would probably look at App Harvest here. And as you look through here, you got Romeo, Grow Generation, Real Real, uh, Party City, WTI. All have got some nice uh, institution transactions here. Institution are, institutions are buying their stock. In case of WTI, even insiders are buying. So I would look at some of these names here. Look at the RSI here. RSI tells you stock is still oversold. And then you could look at uh, stock like Pubmatic here. Uh, as you can see here, RSI is 40. And it's trying to make some comeback in near term in one day chart here. And then you got VLDR, Valodyne, right? Uh, Valodyne. It's a great stock, $6.81 stock. Institutions are buying the stock big time. And stock is trying to make a small comeback here. I would buy some Valodyne at these levels. I think it's a compelling stock to buy um, with a short ratio of 19% here. And then you could look at even other names. For example, we got uh, Workhorse. Um, RSI, is, RSI is 43 here. You could look at some of the, these names here. And if you're an option person, you could uh, look at some of these, uh, you know, IV percentile here, you know, high IV percentile, you could sell some options. But when the IV percentile is low, for example, grow generation, real, real, party city, um, any, anything which is below 40 or so, you could buy some call options. Uh, Delta 70 or higher, uh, three months or more uh, expiration time to expiration. So with that, uh, I think you should look at some of those plays and take it from there. So we look at few charts here. Um, first one is Ride, uh, which is uh, um, Lodge Stone Motors here, six dollars and forty-eight cents stock here. As you see here, stock is, uh, you know, right now it's completely uh, bearish, as you can see here, red line, which is a 200 day moving average on the top here, and the green line, which is 25 day moving average, which is almost at the bottom here. So stock is in a bearish territory. Look at the on the balance volume, it shot up here. Uh, so that tells you, even though stock is in a bearish territory, smart money is pouring into the stock here. Look at the institution transactions here, 39%. That's why uh, I think this can create a nice short squeeze situation here with a high short ratio of 31%. I would be a buyer of a uh, ride here at these levels. Then we got SQLT, select quote, $8.35. Um, as you can see here, uh, stock is going down after the earnings. It's trying to make a small comeback here. Even on the balance volume is trying to tick up a little bit here. Uh, I would be a buyer of this stock here, completely sold out, sold out with RSI of 20 here. And then you got Root here. Root is the insurance company. Stock is completely in a uh, bearish territory right now. But if you see here on the balance volume, it's trying to tick up right now. And institutions are buying slowly. I would be buying uh, this company here. And see, as you look through here, there is an earnings coming up in, uh, in two days or so. That's why I would probably buy this stock ahead of the earnings. If company gives any good news here, the stock can cause a short squeeze in a very short term or a very short time. And then you got here CDAV. CDAV, as you can see, a stock is uh, in a bearish, trying to bounce off of its 100-day moving average here. On the balance volume is pretty steady. Um, I would buy some CDAV at these levels. It had pretty good, decent run here. Probably I would uh, pick, pick some up at these levels and take it from there. And then you got here a few more. We got FLGC, Flora, $9.37 stock. Uh, as you can see here, even though stock is falling here, on the balance volume is picking up here. So that, that's a good sign here. Smart money is flowing into the stock. Um, and uh, I think we should probably look at buying this uh, Flora stock at these levels here. Then you got AXSM here. Um, 
axom as you see here stock is gap down big time looks like one of their drug um alzheimer's drug um you know uh, there's some delay in the fda approval so that's why stock fell off pretty hard um, and as you see here on the balance volume also dropped but quickly came back so i would buy some axiom at axiom at these levels i think it's a good one this company could be even a um, target to um, buy from bigger companies so i think it's a good one to buy um, and then we got here uh, goko as you see here goko stock is completely in negative territory stock dropped gap down big time um, as you see here, in insiders are buying. I think insiders at this point are compelled to buy because it's uh, so low value here. They see good value to buy this company at these levels. Insiders are buying it. Institutions are buying it. Probably we should, we should buy also. That's why with the high short ratio of 7%, this GoCo could sh create some short squeeze. <clears throat> Then you got Metro Mile here. Metro Mile, as you can see, a stock is completely in a negative territory right now. It's a bearish territory. Stock is trying to make a small comeback, as you see here, on the balance volume is slowly trying to tick up. I would probably buy some, um, you know, Metro Mile here. I think after the earnings, company stock came down pretty hard. I think it's a good one. It's in the insurance business. I think they will do well. Next, we'll look at a few more here. We got uh, APPH, App Harvest, uh, Organic Grower of Vegetables. Um, looks like institutions are buying slowly and the stock is, um, I think they, they made a good comeback here in one day, I mean one week chart here. RSI is still low. I would probably pick up some, uh, you know, some APPH here. Then we got Romeo, Romeo as you see here. Um, nice looking stock, $4.90. Institutions are buying big time. Um, you know, stock is uh, trying, to, trying to see where to go here. And on the balance volume is picking up. I would, I would buy some Romeo at these levels. And then you got growth generation here. Uh, as you see here, stock is uh, dropped after the earnings. Now it's trying to pick up slowly. Um, <clears throat> as you see here, institutions are buying slowly. And... Um, RSI is 35, completely oversold. I would buy some growth generation here and take it from there. Right now on the balance volume, it's trying to, trying to see where to go here. Probably it will tick up as you go forward. Then you got real, real here. It's into luxury, secondhand type um, apparel. I think as you see here, uh, stock is $13.23. Institutions are buying slowly. RSI is 40, tells you completely oversold. Fundamentally good company with the positive earnings growth. Um, I would buy some of this company stock here. Right now, stock, you know, it's a bearish territory. Even uh, on the balance volume is trying to stabilize here. I would probably buy some at these levels and take it from there. Next, we'll look at uh, Party City here. Party City is trying to bounce off of, uh, I mean, slowly trying to bounce off of its 200 day moving average as you see here. On the balance volume is pretty steady here. Uh, that's why even though stock is down, on the balance volume is pretty steady. Um, I would buy some uh, party city here with the um, um, short float 8%. This can also cause some short squeeze. Then you got WTI. WTI, as you see, a $3.28 stock. Insiders are buying. Institutions are also buying. So that's a good sign here, low RSI, low dollar stock. You could buy some, you know, at these levels on the balance volume is pretty steady. So I think this is a good one here. And then you got Pubmatic here. Pubmatic, as you see here, stock has been doing nothing for a while, but going down. Um, right now, um, there is no insider in transactions at this, at this time. But RSI is low, as you can see here. Stock is trying to make a comeback in one week chart. I would probably buy some Pubmatic here. Uh, on the balance volume is pretty steady here. Um, I would buy some here and take it from there. And then we got here VLDR, Velodyne. Um, stock is completely in the bearish territory here. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's a nice institution transaction here. So that's why I think uh, stock will... Uh, 
you know create the short squeeze as you can see here there's 19 percent shorts and there's a good institution transactions so that's the recipe for um, you know short squeeze i would buy some uh, vldr here and take it from there and i did not mention i, I don't have a chart for one stock here that's the n and dm nano dimension i would probably buy that one too so with that uh, thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe